Hey there. I'm sure all of you must have been working very hard and preparing for this exam last few days, weeks, months or even years. Yes. Uh you must have devised some strategy for yourself uh, as the exam is coming up. The D day is approaching. So let me add a few points from my side. Remember this is a neurophysiologist talking and the, it is all about the neurotransmitters this game is about neurotransmitters how much can you recall how much can you solve the problems and clinical cases so let's start first point is at this stage don't go for too many mcqs you know uh, heavy mcq solving should be avoided at this stage i know many faculties might be telling you or or even uh, 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 seniors might be telling you but i beg to def- differ here why do i say that uh, is because uh mcq has a correct answer and then it has got three wrong options very often the students have said that before the exam they solved an mcq correctly but in the exam they solved it wrongly you know why is that it's because the wrong option was retained as the correct answer by them particularly so when they do it in the last month or uh, so month or two months before the exam so therefore uh, some light mcq solving is okay but uh, don't go for too many mcqs 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 should not be the be at all and end all of this uh, at this stage uh, also don't go for grand tests because many students have the tendency they want to check where do they stand rank wise so they go on solving the grand tests and all don't do that it is like a kid who has sown some seed or plant into the ground and every day uproots and see checks whether the roots have gone deeper into the ground or not that's not the correct approach uh it's going to increase your stress if the number is not so high so don't go for all such things don't keep on judging yourself on the basis of mcq solving or grand test avoid just light mcq solving second point is uh concentrate on your strengths at this particular stage i know many students they tend to keep their weaker subjects till the end because they think i read it uh, as close to the exam as possible then i will retain these facts so it will become stronger no in fact that weaker subject might interfere with your memory consolidation and it might uh, decrease your stronger subject strength so uh, at this particular stage as one month or so is remaining for the exam you should focus on your stronger subjects uh, look for clinical angles in every subject even if you are reading anat physio biochem just try to see Uh, whether there is clinical angle to any fact what clinical mcq can be asked on this whether there are disease process pharmacological basis etc because as you know we are moving more and more towards a uh, changed pattern and there will be clinical cases or problem solving type of mcqs so therefore uh, focus on these subjects clinical subjects more and more or even from the basic subjects try to focus on the disease aspects pathophysiology etc uh, coming to the next point uh, what should you eat when should you sleep look very important points again a neurophysiologist speaking to you and this is a game of neurotransmitters your memory recall how much have you imbibed how much can you recall etc so first thing please try to reset your circadian rhythm a little bit i'm sure most of you uh, must have been very hard and going into the night 2 am 3 am you are reading and then you get up at 10 am or 11 am and then again uh, go to the studies now this is okay but not so okay you know why i say that is because you need your peak performance on the exam day and that is possible only if your circadian rhythm your biological clock is set for a particular pattern you know if the exam uh, is at let's say at 10 am just giving the example and then uh, your circadian rhythm is such and then uh, you know at the on the day of exam sudden change then your peak performance will not happen so uh, just reset your biological clock a little bit eating pattern it's okay uh, just add high protein content a little bit and uh, towards the weekend some uh, mild spice just that Uh, this is based on again neurophysiology your hippocampal cells will be stimulated and neurotransmitters uh, will be there 6 to 7 hours minimum should be the sleep duration again why 
for the replenishment of your neurotransmitters at this stage you are spending a lot of neurotransmitters because you are studying very hard and you need to replenish them therefore sleep well okay uh, eat well high protein content already told you circadian rhythm should be set and completely relax on the day of exam you know this exam is not about what you uh, read in the last one month or what you read on the last day or penultimate day just before the exam this exam is about what you have been doing for all these years all these months so therefore too much on the uh, studies in the last day i mean just a day before the exam relax yourself whatever efforts you have been putting in will be good enough so have faith in your ability and approach this exam i'm sure you're going to crack it all the best